signal propagation in an optical fiber is limited because of attenuation, dispersion, nonlinearities, and other harmful effects that cause the signal level in an optical fiber to degrade with their accumulation, transmission length. To sustain optical communication, the receiver, photodetector, must be able to detect or read signal pulses and distinguish between ones and zeros efficiently. In a communication channel, the signal level can be boosted at intervals with optical amplifiers. Commonly two types of amplifiers are used, edf -er amplifier and Raman amplifier. In this video, we'll discuss about edf -er amplifier. EDFA, that is Erbium Doped Fiber Amplifier. This one is most popular amplifier to use. This amplifier is electrically powered device and amplification is optical. As this work well and efficient in 1500 nanometer range. EDFA are used because their amplification window coincides with the third transmission window C band and L band. Both band can be amplified by EDFA but it is normal to use two different amplifiers. Each for one of band. It's give gain up to 30 dB or more. The total gain bandwidth is 30 to 40 nanometer wide with output power of plus 17 dBm. The target parameters when selecting an ed for low noise and flat gain. Gain should be flat because all signals must be amplified uniformly. Low noise is a requirement because noise along with signal is amplified. Because this effect is cumulative and cannot be filtered out. A SNR that is optical signal to noise ratio is a limiting factor in the number of amplifiers that be concatenated. In practice, signals can be travel for up to 120 kilometers between amplifiers. The signal must be regenerated at longer distance of 600 to 1000 kilometers. That is because amplifier merely amplifies the signals and does not perform 3R functions. EDFA amplification process takes place within a section of single mode fiber about 30 to 40 feet in length. That has a controlled amount of the rare earth element erbium added to the glass in form of iron. Erbium ions are able to exist in several energy states, and when an erbium ion is in high energy state, a photon of light will stimulate the ions, enabling the ion to give up some of its energy in the form of light. Initially erbium ions are on ground energy level. To get the erbium atoms up to excited states, a laser diode is used to pump a high-powered beam of light into dope fiber. This high power light operates between 10 to 200 milliwatts, and at a wavelengths of 980 or 1480 nanometers. The ground level electrons absorb this pump energy and get excited, and rising to high energy level. The lifetime of the ions in high energy level is approximately 1 millisecond and the ions readily decay to the metastable level. When the photon belonging to signal at different wavelength from the pump meet the excited erbium atoms. The erbium atoms give up some of their energy to the signal and return to ground energy level. A significant point is that the erbium gives up its energy in the form of additional photons which are exactly in the same phase and direction as the signal being amplified. So the signal is amplified along its direction of travel.